Hey guys, what's up? Spenny here. I have a super exciting growth stock to present to you today. This growth stock is backed by Berkshire Hathaway. That's right, Warren Buffett and Jack Ma. They're both invested in it. Uh, and this company is Stoneco. If you guys haven't heard of Stoneco, you really want to research this one. They're a fintech company out of Brazil and their stock has been on fire this year, but it has a long room to run. I'm going to be doing a financial breakdown. I'll be projecting their revenues out to the year 2025 in this video. And we're going to be able to accurately predict where the share price will be five years from now. And I got to say, it's really good news. This stock has massive potential from where it's trading at right now. So if we go over to its chart, we can see Stone Coast ticker symbol is STNE, currently trading around $85 a share. If we look at this chart here, we're not gonna spend too much time on this chart, but you can see before the CV crash, it was around $41 a share. Then it crashed down to about $20 a share. And so that's what really got me thinking, should I invest into this one? And so I did just that. You can see here that I've made over 116% return on my money this year so far. Uh, my buying points on this stock was around $27 is when I entered my first position. And I didn't enter very much money into it. And I was kind of kicking myself for not putting more money into it. And then, so I decided to put more money into it at around $41 a share. And I'm obviously really glad I did that because the stock is just keeps on running and nothing is slowing it down. And so now the question holds, where does it go from today's share price? Does it five to 10 X? Does it go down? Well, that's why I'll be doing a financial breakdown for you guys towards the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I think it's going to be really helpful for you guys. But before we do continue further with this video, make sure to drop it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. And as always, make sure to check out that Webull link in the description. If you sign up to Webull and deposit just $100, you'll get four free stocks. So before I go with my financial model, we've got to give you guys an overview of what the company even is. So Stoneco provides financial technology solutions, which is FinTech. Uh, this is basically Square, guys. If you're aware of the company Square, it's essentially what Stoneco is. So continuing on here, uh, financial technology solutions to clients and integrated partners to conduct electronic commerce across in-store, online, and mobile channels in Brazil. It distributes its solutions principally through proprietary stone hubs, which offer hyper local sales and services and technology and solutions to digital merchants through sales and technical personnel and software vendors, as well as sell solutions to brick and mortar and digital merchants through sales teams. So this company is based out of Brazil. So you're really betting on the future of Brazil when you're investing in this company. Personally, I love getting international exposure. I'm very bullish on the US market, but I do like some exposure into China. I like it in Brazil. These are upcoming emergent markets and it never hurts to diversify a little bit. And one thing I do like a lot about Brazil specifically is that right now they are primarily a cash society. You can see here, cash is the main payment method for over 70% of Brazilians. So what this means over the next 10 to 20 years, this is going to be easy growth for this company. There's no secret that the world is moving more digital every year. This is just easy growth in my opinion. Stoneco can easily take advantage of this digital trend. Uh, so that's one thing you want to keep in mind when you are doing revenue projections. This is something you got to try to account for. And so now I do want to move on to my financial projections for you guys. But I got to show you here. It says that this share is outstanding is 225 million. I scratched that out and I actually believe it's about 300 million. I did the calculations and 225 million just wasn't adding up. Um, I'm pretty sure Yahoo Finance is just outdated on this. So I did move it to 300 million if you're questioning why um, I changed it on my financial projections here. So now looking at what I made here, you see at the top, the current share price is $85. We have a market cap of 26 billion. Keep in mind this 26 billion and all the revenue projections is in Brazilian currency. This is not USD. Uh, usually it's about a five to one ratio, but regardless, it doesn't really matter for us investors. We just want to know how much money can we make? And you can see just below that, I put the outstanding shares of 300 million. So in my chart, 
On the left-hand side, I have years from 2021 to 2025. Next to that, I have percent gains. Next to that is the revenue projections. The price to sales ratio is next to that. That is what I'm gonna be going off of as well. Right now, Stone Co. does trade at a price to sales of about 43. But as time goes on, I will be lowering that PS ratio because there is always the law of diminishing returns. You can't keep up a high growth rate forever. It's just not the way business works. And then the last two columns is gonna be the market cap and share price. Probably the thing you guys are most interested in. So in the year 2021, I'm gonna go off of what analysts are projecting. They're projecting a 53% revenue gain. That would give this company revenue of 995 million. And I'm gonna give that a price to sales ratio of 40, which would give us a market cap of 39 billion and a share price of 130. That is substantially higher than where we are today at our current share price of 85. Now, it gets a lot more exciting though. Moving to the year 2022, I'm gonna move that uh, revenue gain to 55%. I think this is totally realistic for this company. I wouldn't be surprised if we actually grow at 80 to 100%. Would not be surprised in the slightest. But anyways, 55%, that'd be revenue of 1.5 billion. Now I'm gonna lower the price to sales ratio to 35. So I'm gonna try to be as conservative as I can. And that would give us a market cap of 52 billion and a share price of 175. So pretty good we're doing here. Now the year 2023, I'm lowering the revenue gain to 50%. That would give revenue of 2.3 billion. And again, I lowered the price to sales ratio to 30 now. So trying to be as conservative as I can, I don't wanna mislead anybody in this video, but that would give us a market cap of 69 billion and a share price of 230. So now we're up almost 3X on our money from today's share price. Not quite, but you know, two and a half to 3X, and that's just a few years away. Uh, in the year 2024, we're gonna see again, I believe 50% revenue growth. That would be revenue of 3.5 billion. And I lowered the price to sales ratio again to 25 now, but this would still give us a market cap of 87 billion and a share price of 291. Now, in the year 2025, I'm gonna say we're gonna grow at 45% revenue. I think this is again, very realistic. Uh, this company is very early in its growth curve. I, I actually think we're gonna grow more than this, but uh, never wanna be too aggressive in our projections. So 45% revenue gain, that'd be a revenue of 5.1 billion. And again, I lowered the price to sales ratio to 20 now. So now we've gone from a price to sales ratio of 40 in the year 2021, all the way down to 20 in the year 2025. I think this is pretty fair to do. Um, I think that in the future, this company is gonna trade between a 10 to 20 price to sales ratio. Um, but I think we're a number of years away from that 10 price to sales ratio. So 2025, we're gonna be at a price sales of around 20, I would say. And that would bring a market cap to 102 billion and a share price of 340. So that would be exactly a 4X return from our today's share price in about five years. That is a crazy good return. If you can get anywhere near that, you would be way outperforming the broader market by investing in this company if these projections are somewhat accurate, which I believe they are going to be accurate. Um, but of course we need to account for share dilution. So I put in 20% share dilution and then that would bring us down to about a 272 share price for the year 2025. Um, this could be 30%, this could be 40%. We don't know exactly. So I do think the most realistic return we're going to see is between a share price of $200 to $340. I think it's gonna be somewhere in that range. Again though, this could be $400, $500. If they grow a lot faster than the rates I have, then this stock is gonna blow this out of the water. And I do think that's actually a very possible scenario. So guys, I do think this company is very exciting. FinTech is a very promising industry to be invested in. If you're not invested in a FinTech company at the moment, I would highly consider looking at Square, look at Stoneco. There's a number of great stocks out there and I think it adds some really good exposure to your portfolio. 
Uh, personally, this is my exposure to fintech and I'm really happy with it. I have no plans to sell this stock for a long time. Um, I'm gonna be holding this hopefully for the next 10 years. Of course, if something fundamentally changes, well, then I'll sell. But even after the 116% return I've seen, I just can't sell out. When you do revenue projections like this, you know, it, it's hard to imagine me actually losing money on this stock. So I'm gonna stay patient. I'm gonna hold this one for the long term, guys. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this stock. Um, are you guys personally invested in it? I would love to get your guys' opinion on all of my videos personally. Um, I do read all of my comments and it's, it's nice getting some input from you guys as well. So yeah, make sure to let me know. Um, and anyways, guys, that is all I have for today's video. If you liked it and found it informative, make sure to drop it a big thumbs up and uh, feel free to subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, I do post stock videos every day of the week. Thanks for watching. Until then, guys, I'll see you on the next one.